A shock of horror on my head. brown up here. It's a demon. The energy of the We're waiting around for a few more people before we get going on this special live How Do You Paint. All right, you guys. We're actually here to accomplish something very important. And that is to try to bring this painting around the bend. Around the bend. Um, let me explain to you a little bit about the genesis of this painting. How far back should I go? To the beginning? Uh, yes, that's where the genesis is, is the beginning. It was last year around June, I had a flash. After many years of um, dwindling energy for painting, um, dwindling, dwindling tolerance for hectic, stressful life. Uh, and I decided in a, in a moment while carting leaves in a garbage can through someone's garage, you know what? I'm going to fucking quit my day job gardening that I've been doing for 25, 30 years and be a full-time painter. I'm moving to Albion and dropping out and so I can live cheap and be a painter. I just knew it was happening. And then that day, I got an email. When I got home, I checked my email, and this email said, hey, this is the Svein Family Foundation, S-V-A-N-E. -E. Guess what? We're going to give you $10,000. Am I supposed to tell people this? I don't think it's like classified information. We're gonna give you $10,000 to make a painting for an auction that will then benefit arts organizations. We're helping artists. So that happened the day I decided I was quitting painting. I'm hot. I'm not, not quitting painting, quitting gardening. Where was I? The genesis of this painting, right. God, and I, you know what? For people who just joined, you have to go back and watch the beginning because I can't just do the genesis over and over and over again then we would have no revelation. <laughs> so the theme for this auction to benefit artists in the Bay Area was the ark. After these troubled times, the ark comes and we are, the badness is washed away and we're saved. The few of us, the deserving, the righteous are saved. And I was thinking about, well, what should I do on the theme of the Ark? And I was thinking, I'm not ready for the Ark. We're not ready for the Ark. We don't even know what's in the flood. We don't even know the depths of our iniquity. We think we know, but if we really knew, there would be an Ark already here. Where was I? Oh yes, so the flood. I decided I'm gonna do the flood. And I said, I'm gonna do a Kali, Hindu goddess of time, creation, destruction, and, and destroyer of evil. I'm gonna have a Kali um, octopus, because octopuses are what are in the water. And in mine, I'm putting all of the weapons of our time. The gavel. The prescription pill bottle. The automatic assault rifle. The patriarchal dick, which I obviously have to work on today. You're gonna to get to watch me on that. Missiles, why not have some missiles? Missiles for peace, the lotus flower missiles. This is the classic sickle and the cell phone on which I'm going to do a bunch of apps, particularly social media apps. Now, now we're gonna come back to actual nuts and bolts of what the hell I'm gonna do with this painting because I got very stuck on it the other day. Decided, you know what, I'm not gonna have time to film a how do you paint show and edit it for Friday because this, the other thing is this painting is a dead, I am on a deadline with this painting and I'm down to the wire. Yeah, I've had a year to work on it and I didn't start until maybe a month ago. Bad habits. 
of procrastination, uh, which I'm still doing to this moment, if you haven't guessed. The issues that we're trying to deal with today that I've been dealing with and was struggling with and um, had me reaching my impasse was the sky. I'm going to paint light over the, the more you wreck it, the more free you are, right? Right, Alex? I know. But wrecking it at this stage in the game, I don't know if I want that much freedom, man. I don't know if I'm ready to be that free. Because at this point, I just want it to be good. Hi, Brian Carl. Hope that was, I hope your name isn't like a code name top secret because I just outed you. That's never mind. That's not Brian Carl. That's BBK41. Someone I don't know. Don't know who that is. Just, 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 person causing no harm. Yeah, so I wanted the painting to, you know, capture all of the horrors of our day, but I got bored and I just had to go with what I felt like painting, which was what you see here. And I barely felt like painting that. Honestly, people, I know, I know, docs. How did you know I joined, Luis? Because I see your name right there. I know it. I can see what everybody's. I can see everyone who's here, and and if you comment, I can see your comments. That's how I know that you just asked. How do you? Did you know I just joined? I'm gonna um. I'm gonna put this sky back to pink where it was before. I'm leaving this purple up here because it looks cool, and we shouldn't cover things that look good, even if they don't fit. So I'm putting it back to pink and hoping that I can then bring in some dark over the top and, uh, and it will look like a dark sky, but still retain some of this pink color that I liked and then, but destroyed. It would be pointless to pretend there isn't an actual person in the room with you. Would it really? Is it that obvious? <laughs> it's just a camera. So we got the sky in and um, the, low, the first layer of the sky in. You know what I think we're going to do? What I'm going to include you guys on is some high drama, like the most important part of the painting. And that is the mouth where the tongue comes out. This is intense to be doing this on, on, on the air. I don't like the size of it. I don't like the shape of it. Now I can go in with a bunch of blue and just kind of get rid of it and then redo it. But I feel like there's a better way, which would be to create some chaos in here that I don't understand so that there is some happy or unhappy accident that we can, uh, so that we're not just illustrating, so we're actually painting. This is the black paint I'm gonna use for the unhappy accident. I've been feeling a lot of rage ever since I started this painting. This is how, um, when you're working with an archetypal um, energy, like this one, the goddess of creation and destruction, the, you know, when you start bringing that shit into your consciousness, you better be ready, because it's real. So I'm trying to actually you channel this feeling of rage and anger, contain it, like see it as an archetypal force. You like all the black, it makes you think of petroleum. Alex, yes. I, and guess what else it made me think of, which I didn't know until someone pointed out, the ink that the octopus puts out to hide themselves, to escape. So, and the oil spill and the ink. Yeah, 
See, great. Like I didn't even think of that when I put that black on there. I put that black on there when I wanted to die because I thought I was all washed up, washed up in the ocean and was never gonna be able to paint again and had to make this painting and I was gonna make a fool of myself because it was gonna be a horrible painting. So I enraged, enraged, with the rage of Kali, the destroyer, I destroyed the painting with that big black thing. And then it was at that moment I was like, new life, new life was born. I don't know, you all know about these interference, interference gold, interference colors. You mix them in with other colors and it creates a, um, what's the word, luminescence? Is that what it's called? Like on, an, like on an oil spill, actually, Alex. It's like on an oil spill. It's the same stuff. I don't know if that's the word, luminescence. Is that the word, luminescence? No, it's not, I forget the word. It's that, ob, uh, it's like on abalone shells. Not obsolescence. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Interference. Yeah, I know it's called interference. That's the color of the paint, but there's a name of it when it's on the slick of like the oil spill. Iridescence. Iridescence! Thanks, camera guy. It's iridescence. This is me creating some chaos. Blah. So we have something to work with. You need chaos to have something to work with. You know what? I created chaos too early. I have to rewind this chaos. Never mind. Uh, not quite yet. No, not quite ready for chaos yet. I had to go back, you guys. Trust me. That wasn't the right time for chaos. You got to know when to wield the chaos. I, I have an idea. I got to figure out where the mouth is going to go. Okay? And I'm going to do that by removing this mouth and kind of like mapping in the mouth shape that I want. Uh, no! I, I need to draw it. I can't do it like this. I have to draw it. That's the only way I can see. No! Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm getting confused about top lip and bottom lip. So the bottom lip will be like that. Okay. And I don't want it to be quite as like obscene and, and lurid and like grotesque as it was um, because a goddess keeps her cool even when she's losing her shit. Totally how it is to paint, <laughs> Maya. Is it like that for you too, Maya? You seem to enjoy it a lot more than me, but maybe that's just... Your personality. Why is this thing on the wall, this drawing on the wall kind of just like captures the shape that I want in a way that I'm not capturing. These little incremental differences make a, are actually mean a lot. It's like how you can tell if someone's lying. Face is completely the same, except for like one little twitch and you know, that's all bullshit. You just gotta feel it. That's the thing. I mean, that's what I'm not doing. I'm thinking it and I'm not feeling it. Uh, there, I just felt that. Did you feel me feel it? Can you see it in the line that I felt it? The drawing is free. Maybe get back to the mouth. Maybe get back to the mouth to it in a bit. I'm not sure I can totally comprehend what you're saying there. Oh, you meant that drawing is free. Yes, you're right. It's That was so simple, Maya. It's free. <laughs> Those things you want to cry. And, and that's so clarifying. It's like, all I have to do is get free. And then it's all fine. It works. Thank you. And trying harder makes you less free. Now I'm going to have the little dangly dangly thingy. Because you got to have one of those. 
and I'm gonna have, I'm just kind of mapping it out now, like how's this gonna look? And then I'm gonna have a tongue. Don't wanna have a Rolling Stones tongue. I like that. I like the like, it's like in yoga where you have to go. I'm gonna feel that. Pardon me while I contemplate what the hell I should do with this mouth right now. I'm gonna do something crazy with the tongue. I just keep thinking what you said, Maya, that the, um, the, the drawing was free. That's all it was. It's just free. Why is freedom visible? Somebody, oh, thank you. Just do you? Okay, I'm gonna just do me, and you're here with me, which I really appreciate. And um, I'm glad you think the painting is amazing. Uh, it's the first big painting, I've big, like big kind of narrative painting that I've made in, I don't know, a year, maybe? Maybe a little more even? And uh, I was really concerned that maybe I had lost it. As in lost the ability, the desire to make paint. I don't know if you ever saw a movie, it's Al Pacino and he was like a blocked actor, I think. And he's just, it was so heart wrenching. And I just, he's like, yeah, I just, I just lost the desire. If you still have the desire, even if you don't have the ability, at least you still feel alive. But once you lose the desire, what's the fucking point? Know what you mean? Oh, good. I mean, I'm sorry you know what I mean, and I know what you mean. So what do you do when you lose the desire? Do you just keep going because you think maybe you'll find it again? I guess the only reason you keep going is because some, other, uh, some one part of you still has the desire or to maybe to just be who you used to be. Doesn't want to let go what you were, thought you were. I mean, this is heavy shit, man. This is like you have to die to be born type of shit. Take your meds. <laughs> I already did. It's not helping. <laughs> Take your meds. <laughs> I don't know. You got any good meds? <laughs> if, uh, God, is it really just that? Is it just brain chemistry? All right. Fuck this shit. I hope you're ready. Mm. Now that's a gorgeous tongue. Sorry, order of events are very confusing because I wanted to have something coming up from behind the tongue, like, like where the um, ink comes out, like, like that, you know, it's like behind the tongue, it's coming out of the, and then, and then the tongue goes up over that. Like, <sighs> just doing a little intuitive uh, painting here. Just trying to feel, see, and feel at the same time. Like, hmm, what am I seeing there? I'm doing just a little like blendy blendy shit. I don't know why, because it feels good. Just to kind of do what feels good a little bit. And then I'm um, gonna have this other, uh, it's gonna be, oh wait, the tongue comes out. Uh, where does the tongue come out? Is it like below the, the half line? Yeah, so it'd be like, kind of like that. 
that. I want wider. Oh no, you guys, I can't get it right! Fuck! Fuck! That's not even performative anger. Did I scare you people with my temper? My temper tantrum? I hope not. Sometimes you just have to freak out, you know? Who doesn't like a mermaid? <laughs> no, I didn't scare you? Okay, good. This is totally great. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> just keep telling me that. Um, who doesn't like a mermaid? I'll tell you who doesn't like a mermaid, Brian. A drowning sailor. He liked a mermaid, so, um, well, maybe he wanted to die. Maybe that's how he wanted to die. Not scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, some people are okay with intense emotions. Let's see. I'm going to make an annoyed mermaid. She's floating vertically, not reclined. She's standing up basically on the sea floor. Wow, I made her very thick in a very weird way. That's not usually how they look. But you know what? This mermaid does not subscribe to your beauty standards. You know what? I messed up though because I won I was going to make this black sand. I have I am actually using real sand in this painting. And I was going to make this black curve up like that. Um, ah, shit. Ah, I'm going to get my legitimate black mica flake. This is something I won't mess up. How hard is it to spread sand? Just making a, a hill. It doesn't look black when I, for, when it, until it dries, but then it does. So I'm making a black hill off of the flat black area. It also mimics this curve of the um, sickweed, what we're calling the sickweed, because it's seaweed that's like just disgusted. I, when I was in the hell of trying to, of starting this painting and feeling like I got nothing, I got nothing, I, uh, I, I really went deep into that feeling of like, I got nothing. And I just put this, I was like, I got nothing. And I painted this sick weed on here. It's in, you can see it's in kind of a different style than a lot of the rest of the painting. And that was another moment where it was like, Ooh, I got something. I got some sick weed <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I wish I could just be like that through the whole painting, but I have a control freak, um, uptight, want to be good at everything tendency that ruins me. Ruins everything. Pretty much just ruins everything. Well, no, it doesn't. It just makes everything a struggle and it creates the tension that is necessary for art. All right. I'm probably going to have to come back with some spray paint, you know, because I had it so that these two things line up. I mean, did you know that there's this much, like, oh, I got to... I got to fix, I got to put spray paint back on a little bit back on top of this sand so it blends in. Like, what if I wasn't a perfectionist person like that? I wonder, you know, if the paintings would be better or if that's part of what makes them decent. I don't, I don't know. Only one way to find out is to be a different person. make different paintings you were suggesting drowning sailor would not like to see a mermaid i was proposing otherwise <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Hi, Joan Snyder. Thanks for coming to my live. I hope you can bear it for a few seconds. <laughs> Ms. Paw. I like you, Ms. Paw. Uh, I'm seeing what time it is because this thing will cut me off. It'll cut me off like right at the end. Hi. I'm working on this painting, Joan. Uh, you don't have to pay attention to my comments. I love your comments, Brian. I'm going to pay attention to all of them. I got sand where I, well, sand did not belong, but that's okay. No one will notice. When someone's looking at a painting like this, but are they going to be like, there's some gra Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. There's some grains of sand you left in here. So what I'm going to have to do, have to do now is have the mermaid... Like maybe she'll be um, lying on the, maybe it, she will be lying on this. And then the um, diver guy will just be like, floating. Like, Bleh. I'm almost like feel paralyzed right now, actually. <laughs> I told you to join me at my impasse. And this is what an impasse is. I'm kind of paralyzed right now, honestly. I'm going to, um do some just dumb little um, cover-ups of areas where I had tried to put some seaweed in and didn't like it and you can still see the traces so I don't like these traces but this is good because look I'm adding a little bit of a different black to this black this isn't goodbye quite yet right now it's been great yes okay Okay, thanks, Alice. I know I didn't do much. I know I didn't do much painting. So next time, I swear we'll be doing way more painting. I really am at a little bit of a paralysis impasse right now. See, I'm like having to be like talk, talk, talk. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you guys, we're gonna end this live show right now on my own terms, not when Instagram cuts me off. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> See you Friday. No, I don't want to distract. We gotta keep doing these. Love watching. Really? Okay. Bye, you guys. That's it for today. See you next time.